in the previous video clip I was showing you how to enter data into the uh, statistics screen of your graphing calculator and I ended up with a long list of data so your calculator if you're following along should look like this at this point now the next step in generating a histogram is to set the window okay, that's important if you want your histogram to look right okay so see this window button here I'm gonna press that and you want your X min to be smaller than any of your uh, data values um, we could use 40 40 to 100 will work for this data set uh, the X SCL that gives the width of the bars and we want width of 5 so I'm going to change that to 5 okay now your your Y scale uh, is the frequencies and we see by looking at our frequency table that the maximum frequency for any one of these uh, classes of scores is 9 in the 75 to 79 range and so if we change this to 10 then that will scale our graph conveniently Okay, the next step is to press stat plot to turn on the plot. Okay, so that would be second and then this button that will give us the stat plot screen. Okay, you see the plots are turned off. We need to turn it on. So let's select that by pressing enter. Okay, and then press enter again to turn it on okay, and you see the histogram is already selected on this plot now it may be that you're on your calculator you have a dot graph selected or a line graph if that's the case then you need to arrow over to the histogram here Okay, you should check that your uh, X list is L1. Your calculator is going to look in L1 for the data set, and the frequency is 1. Okay, we will look later at how to use frequency distributions, um, but for now, that frequency should just be set to 1. Okay, so. Now all we need to do is press graph and we'll see our histogram. And there it is.